And thank you all for allowing me to speak to you today on this very sensitive issue. I'm going to give you the same speech that I gave the House Health Committee a few weeks ago. This is an issue that we all agree is profound in terms of how it has impacted the constituents of this state and this nation. It is time to implement major change. I would like to invite you to use your imaginations for a few moments. Picture it, 1994, a 17-year-old girl found herself at a party in Orange Beach, Alabama, surrounded by boys and alcohol. She got drunk, so did the boys, and as a result, she ended up in bed with a complete stranger. Next thing she knew, she was pregnant and facing a, a very tough and scary decision. She could go to the clinic and get rid of that baby inside of her. She could go through with the pregnancy and keep that baby, or she could go through the pregnancy and place the baby for adoption. I'm so happy this girl chose the third option to place this baby for adoption because if she had chosen the first option I listed, I would not be standing here in this committee room telling you all this story. That girl who made a stupid decision that so much good came out of is my mother. You may be thinking to yourselves, well, what is the good that came of it? Here are three major goods, if you will, that came of the situation. My adoptive parents, Kim and Mark, who have tried to ha who, who tried to have kids for 20 years and couldn't, endured five miscarriages and countless doctor's visits and operations trying to get pregnant, and after waiting on a list for over five years, finally had a son because of my mom's mistake of having sex as, as a 17-year-old. Two, I'm alive here today and speaking to you. Three, even though my mom placed me for adoption 18 years ago last Last year, on April 3rd, she got to lay her eyes on me and hug me and say that she was sorry. When she said that, despite all the hardships, all was well and a new beginning began. Senators, I urge you to give life a chance. Enforce this new regulation so that it will create time for these mothers to consider and see what can happen and will happen if they decide not to terminate the pregnancy. Every person has a right to life and our goal needs to be to preserve, guard, protect, and defend that right. All I can say is adoption, adoption, adoption. We don't hear it enough. We hear, keep the baby, abort the baby. N I can't tell you one person who's spoken today or in past meetings I've been in who has mentioned the word adoption. With the passage of any of these four bills, maybe, just maybe, women will start to realize how much good they can bring to a family like mine despite a bad choice. You are all Alabama senators. You represent the people. I am the people, and the men and women in this room are the people. We elected you to represent us, and we will hold seconds. you accountable for your actions. I urge you to pass, all, I had written HB 490, but all four of them out of committee and get it to the floor for a full vote. Thank you. Thank you, sir.